Okay, I think I'm recording. I hope I'm recording. <coughs> Excuse me. I did not mean to do that, but I got to get this show on the road. Hi, boys and girls. It's me, Butch. My name is Terry David Silvercloud. I'm not native. It just sounds that way. I'm 81 years old. Today is the 4th of January, uh, 2026, and I'm testing out my new DJI Nano camera on a gimbal, a DJI gimbal, um, on not very good lighting at 20 to 4 in the afternoon in Vancouver. I made an earlier video and the camera shut down because it overheated and I thought, what the hell, I'll make another one. I'll probably post both of them. So, <clears throat> excuse me a second here. Let's get myself into it here. So this is basically a, um, a test of uh, the Nano. The microphone's down there. <coughs> Still trying to clear my throat. Um, so for you boys and girls that are here spending some time with me, um, I'm trying, I had a horrible, horrible morning again. I'm having a rough week. I know it's my heart and I'm trying not to think about it. A year ago at this time I was in, I went to see my doctor, which is a year ago tomorrow. <laughs> he sent me straight to the hospital. So I spent much of last January in the hospital having my heart problems diagnosed. And I take a lot of pills, so I may have to make some adjustments there. Um, where am I going with all this? So I'm testing out the, the DJI uh, Nano camera on a gimbal. And uh, I don't see very well without my glasses. I want to get a bit lower here. Come on down here, dear, a bit lower. Can you do that for me? Stay down here. That's where we want you down here. Um, so, uh, the last time the camera shut down, because I went over the time that I had set for myself anyway, I'm trying not to go over 15 minutes, because then I could load these videos to some of my other channels where I'm not a partner. On this channel, I could load a 24-hour video, I guess, uh, but you have to have been around for a while, and Butchie Poo's been around for a while. So when I make these videos, I'm queer, and I could drop dead at any second, and I wasn't sure this morning if I was even gonna be here this afternoon, that's how I was feeling. Um, but I've taken a lot of painkillers, and I just took another one. Um, feeling okay. Don't worry about me, I'm old, you're gonna get old too. So that's partly why I'm making these. I'm a nerd, like I'm a real nerd. And so I like to take every opportunity to, I can to tell the nerds out there, because you won't learn this anywhere but from me, solids have vertices, vertices, pointy parts. Liquids are spheroids. Gases are t a torus or tori. Uh, just because I want to throw it in there as often as I possibly can before I croak. This is what Butch says is a model of helium would look like uh, at the point of condensation from a gas, the two tori, the opposite spinning hydrogen atoms, into, uh, they're trying to condense into a liquid and then if they finally do, uh, they will form uh, some sort of spheroid. My next door neighbor who's pretty cool, he'll see me looking like this. He's pretty cool, he might wave at me. But eventually they want to become a spheroid and Butch says they would shrink into uh, Johnson Solid uh, J26, uh, the gyro bifastigium. So this thing I'm holding in my hand is Butchie Poo's model of a gyro bifastigium. But for the gay boys and girls, uh, what can I tell you about? Look after your bodies, you know. I'm 81 and it's not, your body's not going to look after itself. Sorry about that. You got to work it. No pain, no gain. So uh, learn to exercise or something, you know, just do something. Butchie Poo has been trying to exercise in one way or another his entire life. 
since he became an independent adult, more from, geez, I've always thought about it. You know, I went straight into the Navy at age 19. They made me an officer. Uh, but I always had a barbell in my photo studio and uh, I had a pair of chrome-plated barbells on my uh, desk in the studio. Uh, we had two pair of them because I tried to encourage my boyfriend to use his pair too. Uh, he's gone now. But, you know, look after yourself, exercise, learn what you can, and there's different... When you're first coming out, if you're coming out, you may be falling in lust. Oops, something happened there and I lost my tracking. Oh, I put them I'm over here, dear. Here. It'll get used to me. It's going to happen sooner or later. It's going to recognize my hand sooner or later. <laughs> my poor tracking device. Why are you doing this to me? I'm going to force you. You're going to hate me. See, I'm over here. Here I am. I guess it's because the lighting, I guess, in here is so low. And down below me here is a bright computer screen. Apparently this little sucker likes bright lights and gets confused by them. So it is a test of everything. And I totally forgot what I'm talking about. Um, oh, so, you know, when you're first coming out, um, you're going to fall in love with somebody, maybe. Uh, you may fall in lust, but... Uh, if you fall in love, it's usually because you're so sexually attracted to somebody. <coughs> Excuse me, you don't, you don't get to know them well enough before you move in together and you discover that they don't like chocolate cake after all. Um, so get to know them a bit before and uh, maybe before you... Well, just make something for you to think about. Ask yourself, what type of guy do I really like? What really turns my crank? And, and this guy that first came up with the body types, uh, William Sheldon, he's been discredited because he thought it had to do with a whole lot of other things. But he got to give the body, he gave it a name, naming the types, which is called somatotypes. And he classified people into three basic types, endomorphs, mesomorphs, and ectomorphs. And you could say that is the relationship between a person's height the width of their shoulders, the width of their hips, and their leg length, and what else is involved there? Hips, height, shoulders, hips. Like, are, are they like narrow shoulders, wide hip, wide shoulder, narrow hip? Nowadays, Butchie Poo is noticing that I was, when I was young, <clears throat> if the camera stops, it's because it's overheated. Um, I was a tall guy. I'm about nearly six foot two. And uh, in my day, when I grew up in Ontario, uh, Canada, I, in Hamilton, in the late 50s and 60s, I was amongst the very tall guys. Now the tall guys are everywhere. They're just everywhere. And I attribute that to the change in diet over the last 50, 60 years since when I was young. So instead of people continually getting fatter and fatter, in some cases they're actually just getting physically bigger and taller because they're better fed. Um, you'll notice that even nowadays Asians are, you know, modern Asians are quite tall. Uh, a lot of reasons Asians were short was they were just undernourished for a long time. Uh, but they can be big boys too and girls. Okay, I've gone on and on and on. Uh, Butchie's big idea is solids have vertices, uh, liquids are spheroids, gases are tori. What else can I tell you of use? This is a, uh, I was trying on, what were they going to wear today? The uh, Aussie bums wore one out. I decided to wear Aussie bum. Um, this is a model of uh, helium at the point of condensation from a gas to a liquid. Uh, I can yak on it for a bit here. What can I tell you? I make notes because I, I think I have all kinds of things I'm going to talk about, which I do, and I just... I smoke some pot and who knows what, and I can't remember what the hell are you going to talk about. I guess that's pretty much it for now because this is getting long, and I just wanted to really test out the uh, DJI uh, 
nano under these poor lighting and, and sort of yak a bit about some ideas. But, oh, the other main idea, so let's, I'll just squeeze it in here really fast for the nerds at the end. Butch says we're living in a, a, a universe where uh, the electron, is, we already know the electron is important. And in, in quantum physics, they don't care about it having physical size. They just take a point source and add mathematical values of spin and all, whatever it needs to have, they just give it to it. But there is a value they have to attach to it, which is the uh, Compton, uh, see how my memory is going? The nerds will know what I'm talking about, the six decimal thing. There's a value they just have to throw in and they don't know why, but it works. Uh, and that's because the electron is a thing. It's here and it is there at the same time. And you can see it because you're seeing at the speed of light, but reality is putting itself together faster than that. And it's doing it with the electron. The electron is doing it. So our reality depends on the actual physical size of the electron. And you won't find this in a book, Butchy Poo is telling you this, so listen up you young nerds. Think about it when you get older, what Butchy Poo told you. Oh, he was right. <laughs> yeah, I'm right, I am right. Um, so the, the value for the volume of a sphere is 4 thirds pi r cubed. So having the radius for the speed of light, that's okay if you want, but really it's the diameter. Because something has to get from here to there, the diameter. But it could also go through a half circumference. That's a good thing, because that the electron pushing back, gravity is push. Bush is telling you, gravity is push. Just turn your thinking around. All the numbers work the same. Nothing's changed except your thinking. Gravity is push, not pull. It'll work, trust Butch, it'll work. Don't cry. It's gonna work. Gravity's push, get over it. It's all, oops. Why did you do that to me, camera? Come over here. See, it got all excited when I, oh, it saw the yellow ball. See how it gets all excited about bright, shiny things? It's just a child, this artificial intelligence following me around, so it gets confused easily. So, if you take the same formula, because I'm going to shut this down before the camera shuts down on me overheating or something. 4 thirds pi r cubed, but you really wanted the diameter, so you just take the speed of light and divide it by 2. So take the formula, stick the speed of light in there for r, but divide it by 2, because you only want half of it. And that allows something inside to be here, and there, and there, and there. At the same time, someone is, what they think is seeing an object. More than a standing wave, an actual object. I'm sure you nerds will get it if you, the nerds will get it. You gotta get it. I didn't have the opportunity of a formal agitation. Ed education and I taught myself a lot of this I, I thought you already knew this apparently a lot of people don't so I'm gonna croak anytime and I'm taking advantage of the largest platform on the planet which is YouTube to see if I can get my message out there to somebody anybody you young nerds think about it you young physicists think about what Butchie Poo is telling you about right now four thirds pi c over two cubed the volume of the electron sets the speed of light and it'll make quantum physics and relative they'll all start getting along you gotta let gravity be pushed but other than that they'll all start getting along for a change you'll see because reality is happening at electron speed how fast the electron can be here there 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 to somebody looking at it and the people looking at it they need the electrons to actually look at it. <laughs> How tight a prison is that? You can't see the electron without using an electron. We're getting better at it with the help of some tricky mirror technology, but Bush is going to shut up now because I've gone on and on and the camera hasn't overheated yet. I'm very pleased about that. So for all you young nerds, uh, think about what type you like. Don't rush into bed with... Uh, Prince or Princess Charming until you get to know them a bit. You young ones are dating more nowadays. In my day, uh, it was sort of wham, bam, thank you, ma'am, and 
when you woke up in the morning, you might change names and who are you? <laughs> oh, do you want to do this again and maybe make a date that way? Now some of you are dating before you do the, the wham bam. Um, so, well, when I, I was thinking I should tell you young folks out there, I'm, I'm shy with girls, but I have had sex with five girls in my life when I was young. Um, I have to confess four of them are prostitutes. I was in the Navy and I was young. I did sleep overnight with one. I didn't expect that to happen, but I guess she needed, I don't know, she was really pretty. And we spent the night together and I did her again in the morning. Um, and the other was a, a girl I knew. Uh, we were sharing the same house and there was some other gay and straight folk and her young son who was about eight. And she had asked me to bang her <laughs> at some point. And it was her birthday and we were alone at some point. And I said, oh, do you want to give it a shot? And so we did and she just said, you know, pretend I'm a boy and that was not easy but I made it work and I assumed she was on the pill because <laughs> she didn't have any more kids. <laughs> uh, so that's that. That's my dirty little tale. I have no shame at all. I'll be dead in no time at all. Not even, what's important is you. All you young gay folks, you know, act like you're in charge and people think you actually are. Talk louder or whatever. Just act more confident in your shit in your fucking drawers. You know, somebody has to be in charge, and it's, it's more fun to be the boss, really, I think. I don't know. Well, I'm sort of a nerd, so I like it that way, I guess. Gee, I go on and on, don't I? If you like me, give me a like. Excuse me, I have to cough. <coughs> I guess I'm waiting to see if the camera's going to shut down, because the last time I... <coughs> I had sort of a planned video. I can't remember what the hell I was talking about. I think I'll just post it. And uh, I've been warned that in 4K, this is, see I'm testing out 4K shooting because the future is very high res. Sony just announced a sensor, I think, with 100,000 pixels, something like that. Really neat. <coughs> Maybe it's more than that. Maybe it was a million. Whatever it was, it was abs it's absolutely like ginormous. It is a big sensor and it'll be used in uh, all kinds of devices, but it, it, you know, that's why I'm trying to get across this idea that reality is set by the electron. Our reality is set by whatever the finest resolution we have happens to be. And for us, we need the electron. We can see halves or electrons with tricky mirror kind of technology but um, and then Butch is trying to tell you there's something smaller that makes up the electron and it's a particle called the tachyon and for the tachyon it is already moving faster than the speed of light because <clears throat> come over here dear I'm over here back over here over here come on come on over here come on you can do it Atta girl. Atta girl. Come on. There you go. We cook it with gas again, dear. Oh, love you. <sighs> Automation. My robot's having her problems, his problems. Where was I? I was talking about electrons and tachyons. So if, if time is being set by the diameter or the circumference of the electron and the tachyon smaller, then for it, it has already happened at electron speed. It is traveling faster than the speed of light. So if you can, and you can easily do this, if you can squeeze two or more tachyons inside of electron, they make the standing wave you think is the electron. But the electron is just tachyon.